One of your main food sources out in the wild is gonna be bugs. Those are to, to eat them? Yes. So what's life like during the apocalypse? It's never what you'd expect. Daybreak is a high school show that takes place in the apocalypse. If the apocalypse happened to the cast, I like to think that I would thrive. I think my friends might say otherwise. We were actually not a great crew to be in the apocalypse. No, I don't know how to camp or anything. <laughs> I certainly would get eaten by a ghoulie very quickly. They will rip your head off and chug your blood. My name is Michael Hawk, and I'm gonna teach you what you need to know to survive an apocalypse. All right. First order of business is gonna be water. Normally when you find some water, you gotta use fire to boil it, make it safe, or chemicals like bleach or iodine to treat it. If you don't have that, then you can use a tool like a life straw. The way these work is very simple. Pop the top, pop the bottom, stick it in, and give it a suck. There's some dirty water for you to have a go. You put this in here? That's it. Tastes as pure as uh, snow. I'm not getting it. <laughs> you have to suck for a long suck. time. Once so. you get some, oh, yeah, I yeah. got some though. There you go. The okay. second sip comes in, out really easily. So the next order of business is going to be food. First thing you want to be looking for are naturally growing plants. And dandelion is found all over the world. It's easily identifiable. It's completely edible, full of a lot of can nutrients. I, can I eat Please it? do. <laughs> it's um, bitter. Yeah, that's it. Sucker. Would there be vinaigrette available? <laughs> good. <laughs> sort of good. Vegan. I quite enjoyed this dandelion. You can make very good salad. Yes. Or chicory. Next thing's even better for you, okay? So one of your main food sources out in the wild is gonna be bugs. <laughs> They're real easy to catch. There's lots of them. So we brought some for you. Those to to eat them? Yes. No, I'm not gonna eat that. I have a weak uh, constitution. But no, you can I think them. that one with the weird eyes looking at you. No, 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 I'm too scared. You I'm go ahead. I'm not going to do it. Oh, you're right. Come on. We're both I'm gonna delicious. I'm going to one of those. I don't want one, but I won't hurt you. It's yeah. got feet. Go split these with me. Cheers. <laughs> what does it taste like? Pretty good. I mean, I don't know. It's not bad. A, a um, fried worm of yeah. some kind. Not very strong flavor. Something you could have with a beer. Something you find at Trader Joe's. Something you could have exactly. with a beer. Exactly. Yes. Compliments a to good. the chef. Do you want for another? Yeah, I, wanna, I didn't really get a proper taste. It's like a Cheeto. These things are really good for you guys nutritionally because they have all the extra <laughs> trace. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> which make them an ideal survival food, actually. I still have a wing stuck between a couple of teeth. Which yeah, is I have some bits floating around, but uh, it wasn't bad. So the next thing that you're gonna need when you're in a survival situation is to communicate. With a simple flashlight or a mirror, you can communicate well over a mile. You just want to find the sun and then kind of guide the light so it's reflecting in their general direction. You can use anything for Morse code. So that's like one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. SOS. You want to give it a go? Wait a minute. Long, long. Oh, ah! oh. SOS. That's it. Let's see if you can hit the camera, right? I just... There ah. you go. Yeah. S O S. Yeah, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> Oh. No, that should be more, no, at, the should be more at the camera. <laughs> dash, 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 <laughs> dot, dot, dash. dot. S. <laughs> the main thing that you need to put in your bug out bag are food, water, fire, shelter, medicine, communication, something to navigate and some kind of tool for self-defense. Things like beans are gonna be actually more valuable than gold or diamonds in a post-apocalypse scenario. I like beans. <laughs> if I could find somebody dimwitted enough to take my cell phone off me for some beans, I would <laughs> All right, now that you've had your 101 survival class, how do you think you do in a survival situation? I know I can eat bugs, so. That's a good start. I don't know that I would do great, but I think I would do a lot better. Right on. You know what I think? If we can all learn to get along, hopefully that doesn't happen. Ah! Yeah! Guys. Um, oh, so we just learned how to live through the apocalypse, and now we want you guys to watch us live through the apocalypse on Daybreak. What a corporate answer. <laughs> so good. Yeah. <laughs>